Hey everyone, it's Matt from drawingtutorialsonline.com and I'm in the museum and I just want to share with you this awesome room. And uh, I'm talking a little low just because I don't want to get yelled at by the guards, but I was looking at this, this painting right over here. It's really incredible. And, um, you know, it gives me a lot of inspiration when I look at this painting. It's just like a digital painting almost. I think it's like really awesome. So my darn tip of the week in this museum is to get out of your environment and go study different stuff. I mean, to be able to get this close up to a sergeant painting is really crazy. And this little iPhone is not doing it justice. But get out, get out of the studio, go to the museum. If you live in the boondocks, I understand that. But, um, you know, just coming here and doing a study of this painting would be like incredible practice. I mean, there's a really close up sergeant got another great sergeant right down over there and where are we where are we yeah each this is crazy each little hall here has like something really beautiful but yeah this was where I want to show you I I just absolutely love this pain and two of these porcupines um, in the same alley way as the sergeant uh, so this, all this stuff is giving me such really, really good inspiration. And um, let's just kind of cruise on down here. And I hope that you guys can hear me. I know that I got camera shake right now, but... Um, yeah, and let, let's... This is what we were doing. We were drawing these sculptures. All these leftover sculptures. And one minute, switching hands. All these leftover sculptures, I mean, just come and do a little study of that girl. I mean, that thing is crazy, really beautiful. And um, this is a very inspiring painting as well. I mean, I know that the phone and the, and the glare on the glass is not doing it justice. But um, that is how you paint a fall scene. It's really beautiful. Let's just look at a couple more paintings here. And... Um, what I did with, I brought my good camera here, I brought my Nikon, and I photographed her, and that's how you want to do hands. I mean, these hands are beautiful, and if you want to figure out how to place hands, this painting is absolutely stunning. Look at that hand, I mean, really gorgeous, really gorgeous. I know, I, I'm actually reflecting in the mirror. So I, I photograph this close up with my Nikon camera and I have it on my desktop and you see all the individual brush strokes. I'm telling you, you learn so much by being up close to these paintings. And uh, let's come on over. I'll show you what I did in my sketchbook um, today during class. Uh, another really nice painting, one of my favorites. I mean, the reason why I like this one so much is because all I used to do was paint kids for book covers and basically the way that she's painted is nuts, incredible. Not a lot of information, but super, super realistic. So um, let's come over here. It's a little dark, but let's give it a shot. So let me show you, share with you guys two drawings. And I'm blocking the light. All right, this was a drawing that I did of a statue. Uh, in the Roman and Greek section of the Met, and I, I spent about an hour on it. Uh, I could have picked a better place with lighting, but this is all my own factors. This is really a drawing about meditation, just kind of going on in there, meditating and rendering. And let me see if I can, this is what we did today. Actually, let me go to a different uh, spot, because I know I'll probably drive you a little crazy with the light and shade. But we, this is what we did today in class. We just went to a painting. This was an Ang painting. And uh, we just went to the paintings and, and we copied them. And we tried to match the values. This is a really great exercise. So the whole thing today was about compositional shapes, matching values, and, and doing contrast. So where you put a black next to a light, that's where my eye's going to go first. So we were practicing that on this little drawing over here where the artist put the white of the forehead next to the black of the hair. So, um, yeah, basically that's my little drawing tip of the week. I, I just really want to share with you guys where I was today and pardon the fingers. And to just share the experience of drawing at the Met, I think it's a great place. Go out to the museum, get out, get inspired, and see how other people do things. All right, I'll see you on the next drawing tip of the week.